Of course, now it's official, everybody. The Oklahoma Sooners are in the college football playoff. Yeah, they did drop from a number three to a number four seed as they will play number one and undefeated Clemson New Year's Eve in the Orange Bowl with the other semifinal being number two Alabama against third rated Michigan State who passed Oklahoma this past weekend after the Spartans beat Iowa in the Big Ten Championship. Of course, the Sooners uh, a little more than a week ago knew that uh, they were shooing for the college football playoff. The only question was seeding and I'm already hearing some complaints from Sooner fans and not only the fact that the Sooners dropped from number three to number four, but also, too, that the Orange Bowl will be played, I think, at uh, 3.30 or at 4 o'clock Oklahoma time. Of course, a lot of people might be at work that day and may not be able to get to their TV or another friend's TV, um, you know, to watch the beginning of the Orange Bowl because of the timing. They made Alabama-Michigan State uh, the second game as a part of the New Year's Eve double dip. Well... Most people, I don't think, are complaining, but there are some. And for those who are complaining, please don't. Be happy that your Sooners made it to the Final Four, the college football equivalent of the Final Four. Because there are some teams out there that would trade positions with the Sooners or the Spartans or the Tide or the Tigers in the New York Mint. I mean, look at uh, look at Iowa. I mean, Iowa you know, had some chances in the Big Ten Championship throwing an interception in the end zone. And then in the late going, you know, giving up a 20-play plus drive to Michigan State. Of course, the Spartans scoring a touchdown in the final few seconds to win the Big Ten and get to the playoff. And, of course, Stanford, boy, if they had been able to play a better game against either Northwestern or Oregon, the two teams they lost to, they could have very well replaced the Sooners in that four-team playoff. If there were two reasons, in my opinion, why I think the Sooners dropped from number three to number four, I'd point at number one. Um, all you have to do is look at Michigan State's body of work. And bottom line is that, you know, I, I can't blame the committee for, for putting Michigan State at number three. I mean, they beat Ohio State on the road, and that was the Buckeyes' only loss. And um, the Sooners, you know, as, as terrific as they played down the stretch and as good of competition as they've beaten down the stretch, uh, they did not beat a team that's presently 11-1. and one. And Ohio State, um, that's another team that would really love to trade positions with any of those four teams. I mean, talent-wise, Ohio State might be still the best in the country, but they had a bad day at home against the Spartans. They lost, and that loss has, you know, got them in a still a pretty good game at the Fiesta Bowl, but not the playoff. But Michigan State winning out Ohio State, beating Iowa, of course, in the finale when the Hawkeyes were undefeated, as well as uh, beating Michigan on the road. Granted, it was a fluky type situation, but the win's a win, and it was at the big house. So you got to give Michigan State credit for that. And by the way, if you're looking at losses, you know, both teams, Michigan State and OU, lost just one time, both to five and seven teams. You know, Michigan State losing to Nebraska, Sooners losing to Texas, of course. But I think the number two reason is the number 13, as in the number of games Michigan State played. Sooners played just 12. Last year, Jeff Long, you know, who basically oversees everything as far as the playoff committee, um, he said last year that Ohio State, one of the reasons why they got in, as opposed to TCU, was that 13th game, that playoff game. Again, the Sooners um, are victims this year of um, not having one, but of course it didn't cost them a bit. It just costed them moving from three to four. Last year, TCU and Baylor, well, one of those had an excellent shot at getting to the playoff. But because of one of the factors being uh, that the Big 12 does not have an official title game, doesn't have that 13th game, that hurts. So if you're looking at the grand scheme of things, again, I don't blame the committee for knocking the Sooners down from three to four. But to me, it doesn't matter. And to me right now, it doesn't matter who the Sooners play. They're in the Final Four, and they're going to have an excellent shot at winning the national championship. And I think the committee got it right. I, I really think they got it right. Now, from a fan standpoint, um, you know, one might say that it does stink a little bit. And again, I'm not going to complain at all. But some senior fans are also complaining about having to go to Miami for that semifinal. Look, you know, if you take care of business against Clemson, you're going to get your shot at Alabama. Um, possibly, okay? I do think the Tide will beat Michigan State. I think it's a good matchup for Alabama because of the fact of their rush defense, okay? Their, their defensive line is terrific, and they're going to force Michigan State to be one-dimensional. 
And we'll see how Connor Cook does in the game. He'll have plenty of time to rest that shoulder, which was no question less than 100%, despite Michigan State, you know, pulling off the victory against the Hawkeyes. I, I think that's a favorable matchup, and I'm not sure if Michigan State can contain Derrick Henry, who I think will win the Heisman Trophy. Um, but again, be happy that your Sooners, everybody, are in the playoff. And when you're in the playoff, anything can happen. And you got, you know, what, about three, three and a half weeks to get prepared uh, for this game. And Clemson, they're well deserving of that number one seed. You know, Watson's one, you know, one hell of a quarterback. He features the passing element. You know, he's completed about 70% of his passes. And also the run element, gaining close to 900 yards on the ground. So I think Clemson's offense is better than what they were last year. And remember, remember the Tigers last year whooped Oklahoma, and that was without Deshaun Watson. He was injured, didn't play in the game. But defensively, the Tigers under Brent Venables, the former Sooner defensive coordinator, were number one in the country last year. Now, this year, statistically, they're still a top 10 defense. But just from what I've seen of Clemson so far uh, this season, you know, the Notre Dame game as well as the South Carolina and North Carolina games for the ACC championship. And maybe this isn't fair for me to say. So if you're a Clemson fan, you're saying, you know what, you're an idiot Sooner fan. What are you talking about? But I'm just going to say this. It does not appear to me, just from the eye test alone, that this defense is as good as they were last year. It's not to say they can't play D, but it is to say that the Sooners should have some success in this game. And again, I'm going to break this game down into more detail later this month. I will have an extensive preview of Oklahoma Clemson, uh, the national semifinals. So make sure you check back force on that. But I do think right now, just from not saying anything else, if I can say one more thing about OU Clemson, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think both QBs uh, will have spectacular games. By the way, the Sooners, from what I checked, even though they're the number four seed and Clemson's number one, OU's already been listed as a two-point favorite in this game, two or two and a half. So already Vegas respecting uh, the Sooners, despite the fact that they got that number four seed. A reminder that my next two shows, the Big 12 preview show, bowl preview show, in which I'll preview every game involving a Big 12 team with the exception of OU Clemson, that'll come your way in the next few days. And then after that, I'll have my Oklahoma Clemson preview, uh, the Tigers and the Sooners. And we'll see if the Sooners can get revenge after being humiliated last year. You might remember last year, uh, that bowl game that, um, that, that took place, the Russell F. Lake Bowl in Orlando. It'll be a rematch between the same two teams. This time, it'll be in Miami, Florida. And it'll be a game in which um, we'll have a lot of eyes. A lot of eyes watching it. If the Sooners can win, uh, then a January 11th national championship date awaits them in Glendale, Arizona. Been a hell of a year for Oklahoma no matter what happens. But now we get to the playoff, anything can happen. And as we found out last year, Ohio State is a four seed. They made a lot of things happen by winning the national championship for Urban Meyer. We'll see if Bob Stoops can hoist away national championship number two. But you got to beat Clemson first in order to get to the national championship game. Thanks, everybody, and Boomer Sooner.